Hello everybody, my name is James, hope you're all doing well, and welcome back to another video. So Charles Leclerc has ended up making quite a comment as Ferrari spoke about their performance, whilst Mercedes team boss Toyota Wolf has also made a new statement. Make sure to like the video, and subscribe for more Formula 1 content, but let's jump straight into the news. So let's start with Ferrari, where team boss Frederick Vasseur has refused any idea of the team going in a completely different design direction, as we know the start of the season hasn't been good for the team with them seemingly going backwards over the course of three races, while sitting a distant fourth in the constructors' standings. So it's clear a lot of upgrades need to get on that car if Ferrari are going to have any chance of taking on Aston Martin and Mercedes at least. But unlike Mercedes, we've said they'll change their car concept to find performance. Vasseur said Ferrari will stick to their current plan. He said, We're sticking to the plan, but we've made some adjustments in terms of balance and behaviour. And it was much better in Melbourne, and we'll continue in this direction. We won't come with something completely different. We'll continue to update this one, and we'll try to update it massively. Now for me, I'm not sure sticking with the plan is the best idea. I'll admit Carlos Sainz's pace at several points in the race in Melbourne was decent as he fought his way through the field, but we mustn't forget that he struggled to pull away from the likes of Pierre Gasly and an Alpine. And while their concept worked last year, for me either something's gone really wrong in the evolution stage, or the concept is simply reaching its full potential. So I would consider a change especially if the new upgrades Ferrari bring don't work. Now in turn, Ferrari's struggles have hurt the Clare this season. I mean a reliability issue forced him out of the race at the Bahrain Grand Prix and left him with a 10th place grid drop for Jeddah, where he only made it to P7 on the road. And then in Melbourne he tangled with Lance Stroll at the start of the race, which left him beached in the gravel, and in turn forced him out of the race. As a result, he only has 6 points so far, and this is compared to the 68 he earned after 3 races in 2022. Even Nico Hülkenberg and the customer Ferrari team has is ahead of the Claire in the standings. But in fairness, that's not taking anything away from the Hulk, who in my opinion has had a great start to the season on his return to F1. But still, things are a disaster for the Claire at the moment. And while in the past he said he loves Ferrari and wants to win a title with them, he made quite a statement about his priorities going forward. He said, I think instead of thinking long-term targets, I think just finishing a race without any penalties or issues is a priority then take the momentum and see what's possible. So for me that goes to show the Clare is at rock bottom. I mean the fact just having a clean race would make the Clare happy says everything. And with the Clare having so much talent, it does make you wonder how Ferrari have managed to make him feel like this. Now as we know there have been rumours going around about the Clare going to Mercedes and Lewis Hamilton in turn replacing him at Ferrari. After all, Hamilton still runs out with Mercedes at the end of 2023, while the Clare is also up soon. And Mercedes team boss Toto Wolff even said at the start of the season he'd have no grudge against Hamilton if he left because the team was not able to get back to winning ways. But he told Motorsport.com there's no plan B at the moment, and his plan is to retain Hamilton for the future. He said, I think it may sound naive, but I really struggle to think of a plan B. If my plan A is still the one that's my favourite. I don't want to engage in discussions with other drivers because I'm happy with the ones that are in the team, that's for sure. At the moment, there's no plan B, it's Lewis. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. But that's going to be the video from me today. Thank you ever so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos. And until the next one, take care.